hi guys my name is destiny and welcome back to the channel so in this video we're gonna go ahead and start working with a chat application using react and django so hopefully you guys are gonna learn a lot of things in this tutorial series and by the end of the series we should be able to build a fully functional chatting application where two users can engage in a conversation chat in real time and without the page reloading they're gonna be able to get their messages and we're gonna do a whole lot of cool things coupled with authentication and and all that so that's what we're gonna be doing do make sure to drop a like consider subscribing as it will really mean the world to me so let's go ahead and get started so before i continue there there are a couple of things i would want to say first of all um i would want you guys to check the the text in the description below and there i will talk about why we are actually going with this project instead of the hotel management system because if you engaged in the votes that we had recently some weeks back then you will know that actually hotel management system won the vote and that's what we're supposed to be building but there is actually a reason why i went with a chat application without instead of the hotel management system so please check the description to know why i actually went with this tutorial instead of the hms first of all and secondly i would highly recommend that you guys follow the previous two tutorials that we've had on this on this channel the first one that we had with react was the authentication system using django and react the next one was to-do list using django and react and this one now is chat application using django and react and if you followed along with the two previous tutorial then this one should be relatively easier for you to follow all right so i highly recommend that you guys go back and follow that two tutorial before coming over to this one but if you feel confident about you know taking this tutorial even without taking that one then it's all good i'm still going to explain everything that is going on from scratch and you guys are going to have a clear understanding of what we will be building in this course all right so yeah that's pretty much it first of all i'm going to go ahead now and demo what we have so over here i on my visual studio code as you can see i have my react development server running on port 8000 down here let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see so as you can see i have my my react dev running here and also have my django server running here that's perfect now what i want to do is i'm going to open up my chrome browser this is it and i'm also going to open up firefox all right so this two browsers here will be replicating two devices and two users that are going to be engaging in the conversation so the first thing that i'm going to do is go ahead and open up this so first of all we have our django server running on port 8000 if you click on that then you see that it opens it up on chrome there you go this is it but now instead of this what i want to open is the local host so i'm going to say local host 3000 all right and i also want to open the same local host here in, in my firefox i'm just going to paste this local host 3000 and hit enter all right there you go so as you can see now we have these two browsers showing up the same thing now the first thing that we want to do is just go ahead and i'm gonna i'm gonna zoom back in so that we can see everything that's going on just in one screen there you go so the first thing that i'm going to do is as you can see since this user over here is already authenticated that's why we can see logouts inbox blah 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 and all this kind of stuff so what i'm going to do first of all is just go ahead and log out as you can see right now i've, I've been logged out and i'm going to come over to login for this user so with this account i'm just going to go ahead and log into my desfix at gmail.com account and hit login there you go as you can see login successful and yeah i'm logged in now when you are logged in as you can see now we now have a couple of things here in the in the header home dashboard to do inbox and logouts and we they now have icons all right so yeah in this one also what we're gonna do is just hit register and we need to sign up a new user over here so i'm just gonna fill this form in real quick there you go this is the email of the user this is the email of the user let's say their name is i don't know let's say boa all right that's their username boa password is testing three to one password is testing three to one and i'm gonna hit register okay there you go this user have been signed up now i'm just gonna go ahead and log into their account real quick remember their username is boa and i'm gonna log in perfect so login successful and um there you go this is what they now have so we can first of all come over to inbox and come over to inbox and as you can see over here i have just one chat that i have initiated with someone and it's called and the person is called moz but this one over here doesn't have any chats 
so i don't want you guys to to mind to look at this don't worry we're gonna we're gonna change this up this is just dummy text all right so i'm gonna change this up later but i want to show you guys the core functionality um that we're going to be working on in this tutorial so boa how about i go ahead and search for okay this is boa right so i can search for boa over here so let's say destiny wants to send a message to boa first of all he can search for boa hit enter now what do you notice boa shows up over here in the search results so i can open up boa and there you go this is how it looks now and i can send a message to boa i can say hi boa and hit send there you go the message gets sent the page did not refresh everything looks okay this is boa over here so we need to see that message that destiny sends and for that we need to refresh the page actually we don't have to refresh the page to see messages in real time but whenever a user loses the page we get this all right so um now we can see that this is the message over here it shows that there is a new message a few seconds ago the message is by um destiny it says hi boa so we can actually so just open this up and what do you notice here it says hi boa so i could you can say something like hey destiny hey destiny how are you and hit send so what do you notice as soon as i hit send the message gets sent to the two people that are involved in this conversation as you can see hey destiny how are you hey destiny how are you and that's it that's pretty much it everything is working perfectly well i could say i am fine I am fine and we send and there you go as you can see the message gets over here this is destiny this is all working perfectly well so that's how everything is working so i can also search for another user i don't know all the users that we have let me just hit d and and search okay we just have these two users moz if i open moz as you can see it's gonna load up all the conversation i've had with moz that's about two days ago i can say something like hi moz and send this and as you can see it says hi moss and everything is working perfectly well as expected so yeah i think that's pretty much what we will be working on and hopefully you guys are going to enjoy the tutorial do make sure to drop a like because that's subscribing as it really mean the world to me and once more i want you guys to check out the text in or the description below because there i talked about why we are going over with this course this tutorial instead of the the hms right so yeah hopefully you guys are gonna enjoy the the course to make sure to drop a like on the channel consider subscribing as to really mean the world to me also if you're looking to become a professional django developer if you're looking to start building your own applications by yourself without following much tutorials without asking for much help then i have a couple of course in the description below that's gonna help you become a super pro django developer i've got creating your own bank application with django i've got building a youtube clone and i've also got a facebook clone these three courses trust me they are what you need to actually get yourself started with django and actually become the pro django developer that you've always wanted to be so do make sure to check out the course in the description below if for any reason you you want a discount you can always hit me up if discounts and coupons are available then i'm gonna send it for you if they are not available then i'll tell you when they'll be available and all that so yeah that's what we're gonna be doing in this video hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and liked it and until the next one mad love peace out